Hi and hello to this new video. In today's video, I will show you here how to draw a blurry background around a butterfly and also finalize the butterfly, draw the feelers and some final details. This is a real time step by step drawing lesson, a part of the drawing tutorial I have inside of Animal Art Club. The whole drawing lesson is inside of Animal Art Club. You can find the link to the waitlist below in the description. And if you would like to draw a whole butterfly, I have a free butterfly drawing lesson, a peacock butterfly. Try it out. You can sign up also in the link below and you get it for free. So enjoy drawing. And now let's dive into the background. Yes, and then let's plot in the background and finally do the feelers and all the fine details. So this background has a beautiful creamy color. We don't have exactly this color in the range of the pits. So I have decided to do the base layer with 103 ivory and then go e over gently with 187 the burnt ochre and let's see what colors we will create so let's start here on the upper part on this um, left corner and plot in here the first base layer with ivory so you can, I draw over the feelers, I will add them then later, it's easier not to draw around them and plot in here a nice base layer with ivory. Don't press too much, but go over the same place, move the pencil so forwards and backwards and plot in a nice layer of ivory here. So move the pencil forwards and backwards, upwards and downwards. So, and then I, I take a cotton swab and blend these, um, these pigments together. There is so a bit loose pastel pigment then on the paper and I, I take the cotton swab and go over in circles and blend this here in so circles. So I move the cotton swab in little circles and blend this. Loose pigment I blow away. And then here also be careful around your butterfly. Move the ivory so upwards and downwards along the wings. And here more, so very carefully near the butterfly and here then more so in circles upwards and downwards. And then I take the cotton swab again and blend over it, blend this first base layer here. So then again here also downwards carefully around your butterfly. Here you have to plot that in very carefully. Also here between our legs, here along the stem. Plot in here more of the ivory here. I move the pencil upwards and downwards near the edge. So if you have the feeling that you need another layer, go over again with a second layer and plot in a bit more ivory pigment here. Plot it in in circles or move the pencil so upwards and downwards. So also here around our little butterfly. Then I go in again with the, paper, uh, the cotton swab and blend it. And then I add another layer here with 187, the burnt ochre. And add here a thin layer with the burnt ochre and mix ivory with burnt ochre. Let's see how this is working. You always can also mix in a bit of white for brightening in, brighten the layer up. So. Let's use here now a layer of 
paper and ochre and take the paper stamp and swipe over gently and mix the two layers together. So then we have such a bit of an orangey ivory mixture. And um, you can also bring in a bit of the white, brighten it up a bit more so that it's not too orangey and try to create a nice um, blurry background with the colors we have here. So add a bit with the white here. And then use a cotton swab again and blend over in little circles and mix ivory and burnt ochre and white together that there are no stripes. And so we have then a nice so orangey brown background. Also go over here above with a, a burnt ochre layer. So I move here the pencil forwards and backwards, add a layer with the burnt ochre and take the paper, st uh, the, the cotton swab and go over in circles. Here, circle over very carefully, so don't, I don't use a lot of pressure, just swipe over and blend the layers with the cotton swap here. Make this smooth and then also go in with the white once more and use the white for again mixing the colors here near the butterfly that we don't have here a framing line around. Bring in a bit of the white color here too. I plot that in a bit in circles here. Maybe make it a bit lighter around the butterfly and then take uh, the cotton swap again and mix it. The more pigment you have here on the paper the better you can blend the layers together. And if you have soft pastel sticks or pen pastels it is easier to create a blurry background especially on larger portraits but here on these small focus studies and these smaller animal drawings you can also use your uh, pit pastel pencils here for creating a nice background. Maybe I add a bit more of the orange color here below. So I go over here once more a bit more with the orange color. Maybe we can also bring in a little bit of 283, the burnt sienna, a very transparent layer and darken this left part here down a bit. So you can mix in all different colors you would like to bring in into this, this background, this blurry background, or also darken it down here on the left upper part a bit and take again the cotton swab and blend it carefully in circles. So make it here, blend it together here that we have nice transitions. Okay, let's then take ivory again and plot it in here on the right side around our butterfly. Plot in here the ivory. Here I use again middle pressure. Move the ivory so upwards and downwards. Then I go over again that the gray paper is here not shining through too much. Go over again with middle pressure. So I don't press too hard that I don't damage the paper but I use here to apply more pigment with little pressure. Then also here below the butterfly let's plot in here all the ivory. Here I move the pencil from the left to the right following the paper edge 
and here following the stem of course and the outlines of this flower carefully plot in here the color around very carefully we have then to draw over the edges of course and add fine details then finally so this is a fur rough ugly base layer this always does not look beautifully but when you then go over with a cotton swab and blend the first base layer it it's becoming smoother here blend the first base layer carefully around our butterfly blend over the edges then we have here the first ivory base layer then go over with our orange with the burnt ochre 187 burnt ochre plot in burnt ochre as the second base layer here also here below I plot in carefully a layer of burnt ochre around the flower plot in the burnt ochre here and then take the, the cotton swab and blend it together with ivory move the pencil here uh, not the pencil the cotton swab in circles i also blow away loose pastel pigment that's too much that sometimes we have too many pastel pigments on the paper too much pigment then i blow it away carefully so swipe over with the cotton swab Sometimes I also swipe over gently with the finger when the finger is clean. When it's too orangey, you can either go over with another layer of ivory or the white to brighten it up. So I add here another layer of ivory a bit. Plot in ivory once more in circles here around the butterfly. Plot in a bit more ivory and go over with a clean cotton swab and blend these layers together. Also here below, blend the layers together. Yes, and also add a bit of white. Maybe here below I brighten this part here below up a bit more with the white. Here below the butterfly, add a, a white layer, add a bit more white, plot in a bit white, or here a bit white, add another white layer. Here you really can play around a bit with the colors and create a nice blurry background. So blend this again with the cotton swab move the cotton swab in circles mix the colors and be careful that you don't have here an orange framing line around your uh, butterfly so here i blend more so make this really a smooth nice background layer blend over it with the cotton swab and create a nice smooth so background okay so swipe over here gently take maybe also the 187 again and maybe darken down here this upper part a bit with the edges a bit the corners with the, the orange of uh, the burnt ochre and just yes here you can play a bit maybe also add 283 a little bit in the corners and then blend darken down the corners a bit create here nice transitions also here above 
let the corners are a bit darker or this upper part here is a bit darker but always let them go into each other these these areas bl blend them together from darker hues darker values to the lighter colors so let them blend them really well here together that you have here so nice beautiful transitions okay also blend once more here around the butterfly okay and then let's draw some details and finish this drawing I take uh, the black and draw the feelers 199 the black and draw these first feeler here so upwards here it's a little bit broader press a bit more and then I take the white and bringing here these white little dots on this feeler here it's a bit so striped oops this was a bit too much blow away the the broken pastel pigment maybe here I need the ivory a bit to correct remove the white a bit that it's here too much I take again the black and bring in here these black little dots between this is a little bit tricky add here a bit of of the burnt ochre to correct this area around yes um, I am going to sharpen the white these little dots for these little dots you really need a very sharp white it could also be helpful to draw first the white line and then go over with the black so here add then with a very sharp white these white parts on the feeler here so the better would be to draw first the feeler in the white and then go in with the darks there are always different ways so draw then the dark little dots because we are drawing here oh, drawing over the background it the white would not uh, show up so beautifully so it's better to draw the lighter area first and then go over with the dark take the blue 140 and color this a little bit bluish add a bit blue here on the feelers so I take then once more the white and add here again the white dots I turn the pencil so around try to add again some of these white dots here on the feelers brighten it here up a bit and then add some white so fine fluffy hairs here on the head and also so here above and brighten up this part here of the head and here also let's bring in with the white so fine overlapping fluffy I say hairs so downwards brighten up this fur of the little butterfly and make some some a correction so bring in more details then finally here below we also have so overlapping fur bring that in so little clumps of hairs with the white now let it overlap over our background here here I bring in another white line and then also draw the hairs right towards here right towards let them cross it's really like a like fur that is here overlapping over the background here 
draw fine thin white lines right towards here. Let them here cross and also here above. Here they are a bit shorter. Let them here overlap. I'm sharpening on the white once more. And let's also, let's go here around the edge with a very little pressure once more and add a thin white line here above, moving the pencil forwards and backwards. Go over again very gently for a very fine thin white line and add some of these teeny tiny crossing hairs here again. Yes, and add all fine details a bit white here around this flower part here. Maybe brighten up these little stripes on the legs once more. Make here and there some corrections with the white or draw around these circles brighten the, them up again a bit make them lighter more brilliant white draw around them once more so finally take some time and really refine some parts draw around these little around um, circles or take the white and add some so teeny tiny little lines out of them that these are not just so, so round circles that the strokes are going a bit out I add also with the white here once more some white lines add here and there a bit we can also take a craft knife and scratch in some fine lines. I like to do this to refine this furry look. Scratch in some lines also here. This is working really well because we have a lot of pigment here below of the background. So we can remove the white pigment and scratch in some some darker lines with the knife here and just refine this furry look. Also here, scratch in a bit. Use the knife here for refining a bit. So, and then also take a gray once more. I take the uh, 273 once more, the warm gray four. And also um, here we have a little bit of a darker line in on the wings. Let's add here some warm gray four lines. And also here this part is a bit darker. This part between the two wings, let's add here also some gray lines. And then I go here once more over with the sharp white and add some more white details too, so that we draw here again a layer with some white overlapping strokes. Maybe here. Yes, so here some downwards or here some more, add here on the, the head some more, just yes, correct something, add here and there more details or also take the dark blue once more, 157 with a very sharp point and add some more shadow parts. These hairs here on the head can be a bit darker, for example, or add a, a line here above the eye, or add shadow here below. Here a bit, draw with the, the blue here a bit along, or add here so teeny tiny blue lines on the body once more, or add here some dots once more. Try to correct wherever you find something or maybe here inside 
in the little circles or add here so teeny tiny little lines or take the black and darken down the eye that the eye here is really dark black add black here and there for a bit more contrast too darken down here the flower and what we also have to do is to draw along the edges here once more of the stem and the flower that they are also straight take the brown and and move here so upwards and downwards the 283 the burnt sienna that we have here nice straight outlines take the the black once more here so okay then finally let's sign our uh, drawing i sign it with a brown here with the two letters of my name and then i call this little butterfly finished okay so i hope this is helpful also for your own drawings, your own animal portraits to add a blurry background or how to draw fine thin filas of butterflies. If you would like to draw another butterfly, then download this free drawing lesson, a beautiful peacock butterfly. If you have any questions, pop them below in the comments. I'm happy to answer. And then I see you in the next video.